All right, YouTube, here we are back doing what we do. Looks like we've got a little car and uh, right in front of the sun. How are you, sir? Candy Kitchen called me, right? Candy Kitchen called me, correct. Yeah, there you go. Um, that car looks familiar to you. It kind of does. It kind of does, but Indiana tag, I don't recognize the tag. I kind of recognize the car, but I don't recognize the tag. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, guys, uh, you know, we're here at the church. See if we can get this one hooked up and uh, get her back to the shop. All right, guys, I am, uh, I'm headed out of town here with that little white car. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. I know we've got uh, quite a bit of pushback on a few of our videos, um, our latest release videos for these illegal park vehicles. So, uh, you know, we're just, I'm just doing what I do. Um, these folks call me. It's like this one right here. I know I've explained before, but, um, man, Candy Kitchen has called us. Uh, that was spot number four that that one was in. Um, Candy Kitchen's called us because their employee showed up for work in a spot that they pay for. They pay to rent that spot so they have a place to park when they go to work. So she showed up for work, didn't have a place to park. Uh, you know, now they're short staffed. She She's uh, running around. It's Gatlinburg, of course, Friday. There's no places to park over here. So, you know, I, I do, I feel for the folks that, uh, that park here and and, uh, and don't realize, I guess, but they were right in front of the sign too. But um, but on the same token, you know, like I'm, I'm just trying to make a place for these people to, to to park they've paid to park here so you know, it's uh you try to take care of both ends of it i know these these customers some of them are some of them realize and some of them are very upset with what we do but yeah, it's it's what i do i don't make the rules i'm they just call me to do my job so we're over here to try to make this parking a little easier for the people that work in and around gatlinburg and if you're in a numbered spot i I mean, it's numbered for a reason. Plus, there's, I'll say it again, there's lots of signage. So, just don't do it. You know, pay the pay the $20 to park and, and uh, be a lot less craziness for all of us involved here. So, but, uh, yeah, pay to park. And also, our uh, latest unhappy customer there, um, you know, left us went to Better Business Bureau and I'll post a link to that whole uh, review. It's like, come on, just, I'm not lying about this stuff. You know, we, if I edit anything out of our videos, I try to be as truthful and put as much information out there as I can, you know, excluding, you know, plates and license plates we try to blur some of that stuff out but I mean, if you're going to get on and comment on the video that you're in with your name and then you're going to hit me with a privacy complaint and, and then better business bureau and and then talk about our fees again maybe i need to go over our fees so I, I, we <laughs> we always say cash only and of course i agree that kind of throws up a crazy red flag to me too like, well why why does it cash only and you know i've explained this to a lot of folks and you know like the last uh, the last upset customer we had there is no doubt in my mind that we wouldn't have gotten our money out of that and they would have they would have uh, contested the charges on their credit card they would have disputed those charges um so we're we're not I'm not doing anything crazy wrong. I'm just, I, we're just trying to make our money off of this. And uh, if we say cash, at least we know we're getting paid and we don't have to uh, to do this stuff for free. It's not It's not anything crazy or weird or, uh, you know, it's it's cash only for a reason. And um, you know, everybody gets their receipt. What they do with their receipt is completely up to them. So, 
but uh, we're just trying to cover ourselves and kind of need to throw that explanation out there again because I know we'd had a few comments on that as well so that is that so big shout out to my subscribers too that uh, having a little fun in the parking lot over there in spot 26 and 27 I'll uh, they sent me some pretty cool pictures I'll I'll post somewhere in the frame there are some some of the cool photos thank you guys for sharing that that's uh that's funny we like that um but uh the uh when, when the folks come to pick up these things I, i've gotten some questions on you know why do you say i'm sorry i'm gonna say i'm sorry um uh, and it's not necessarily i i'm i'm sorry for what i do because this is what i do you know, i'm not i'm not sorry for that. i'm sorry for the situation um and you know I, and i say that in light too it's hopefully if if I can say, you know, I'm sorry for the situation, then it's gonna th it's gonna make things a little better than when you pull up. You know, maybe you'll be a little nicer, and the, at the end of the day, you know, the transaction will go a little smoother. You know, it's better than when you, you pull up and you say, well, you can't. Why in the world did you park there? And you know, I you can't do that. You can't and me demand things. And I, I don't. It's not me. I don't. It doesn't matter to me why you park there. You don't have to explain yourself to me. I, I'm not. I'm just there because the property owners called and, and said you're not supposed to be there. It doesn't matter to me. You, you don't owe me any any explanation at all. So, but yeah, when I say I'm sorry, it's it's I'm truly I'm sorry for the situation. You know, and on both ends, the people that can't get to work, the people that uh, maybe didn't see the sign. You know, I understand you're on vacation. It's exciting. You're not always reading reading things and you just park and you're gonna go have a good time but uh, when you when you come to pick up your car also I'm not gonna tell you who called me so you know for the for those folks and well I'll give me the name and the phone number of, of who called you and it's not it's not because I'm withholding information or or um, you know I'm, I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to and, and just uh, predator this or that I, I'm not I'm not going to give you their information because what what's that going to get me you're gonna you're gonna call them and you're gonna harass them it's like yeah, you can harass me that's fine I, I told you but I'm not going to give out personal information so uh, you know you can you can call those folks that's they've already had a hard enough time with with the car being there and uh, don't need that information I'm gonna I'm gonna withhold that <laughs> but uh, yeah we're almost back here to the shop with this one. Both of these folks will be nice. We'll try to be nice. And uh, sorry for the situation. It's like them. Oh, for sure. Oh, wow, they weren't lying, were they? That is a Dodge Dart. That is in the ditch. Really? Here, you can probably see it better out your window. Hey, I found you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab a fist. I guess everybody's okay. Yeah. That's the important part. Yeah. And the McDonald's didn't get cold. That's the that's the next important part. I told him give me food. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We might we might be going fishing. I am so glad they are okay, my I know. Airbags still intact and all that oh, good yeah, stuff? yeah, everything's fine. I was just trying to 
Yeah, it is a little speed bump. Yeah, it's just a little speed bump, honestly. I was just trying to pull it out like probably ten minutes ago. You're the only person that can drive, dude. Bro, I was I was trying to use reverse. It was it was driving fine. It's just stuck as hell. Gotcha. All right, well. It's just in a really. It's uh bad yeah. Spot. It's in a bad spot. Up, nothing nothing crazy in a bad spot. okay you want me to put it in like neutral or? no we're gonna get some stuff hooked up first all right Come on, no. i think we got you on camera youtube i couldn't swear to it but The keys are in it? My keys are in my hand. Okay. I'm just gonna try to hop in there and get it into neutral. Oh, yeah. is, is the parking brake, none of that stuff, is that all set or? The, what do you mean? The e-brake, is the e-brake yeah, on? E yeah. It's on too. No, the e-brake's not on. Though. Okay. Down in the, in the river. Yeah, I just turned it off. I just trying to go make sure it was all good there. Did you put it in neutral? Yeah, I'm in neutral.
this up there. I'm scared to absolutely fucking him out. I don't think it's gonna do me much good to try to get anything else. It's got it. I don't know what it's on. It started pulling really hard. It's not that fucking bad. It's not that bad. I don't think it's even scratched. I, right here. Here. I mean, it looks like a. I think that's the water line yeah. right there. I mean, I got, I mean that's insane. That's, that's like okay, that's uh, considering what you went off else? in, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, you yeah. lucked out, dude. Absolutely lucked out.
everything auto. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I believe my car was towed by you guys from over at a church parking lot in Gatlinburg, and I was wanting to double check. What kind of car you got? It's a white K5 Kia. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, parked in one of, I think it was spot number four, I believe it was. Yes, we've got the vehicle. What's the cost on that to come and get it? Uh, it's, it must be the registered owner for the pickup. Where are you guys located? Tavirville. In Sevierville. Do they have cabs over there here in Pigeon or Gallenberg to get there? Yeah, we use uh, Benz, B-E-N-Z, Benz Taxi a lot, um, Angels Taxi. Uh, both of those companies are in Gatlinburg. All right, man. I appreciate it. Uh -huh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. So this is what happens <laughs> when they go shopping for, what's that picture? <laughs> I gotta see the picture. So they come back in the car. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. I'm um, glad we didn't get 23. Yeah. We I'm glad they didn't one. get 23 too. Yeah. 